Hi, I'm Aki, who lives a minimal life in Japan. Today, I would like to introduce 10 things I don't own or buy as a minimalist. Since I traveled on my bamboo bike, I started thinking I want to live lightly and freely. So, when I reflected on the things that I thought that I always needed, I found that I don't need all of it. After realizing this, I feel lighter and more free. My minimalist style is to live naturally and lightly. Number one, I don't own a trash can. I've always thought that trash cans were a necessity to have. But if I think about it carefully, it's a hustle to constantly put the trash bag in the trash can and take it out. That's why I stopped using trash cans and chose to hang the trash bag on the wall instead. Now I can easily put rubbish in it and also saves you the trouble of cleaning the trash can. Number two, I don't own a bath towel. While I was traveling on a bamboo bike, I stopped using bath towel because they were bulky and heavy. Instead, I started using a tenugui, which is a small Japanese cotton towel that is simple and super lightweight. It's lighter than a bath towel and other regular towels, and it has quick drying properties. With this, you can wash and dry your body. Number three, I don't own laundry detergent. I thought that detergent should be used all the time. But when you think about it, water itself is enough to remove dirt and the washing machine. However, I was worried about the smell. So I started to using magnesium. By using magnesium, the water became alkaline and the clothes in the water become clean. Magnesium also prevents the clothes from smelling. So the good news is that the unpleasant odor of clothes drying in the room has disappeared. Number four, I don't own a TV. I used to watch TV a lot when I was little, but I decided to throw it away because I thought I could use my time more meaningfully instead of just watching TV. A study from University of Michigan, USA, showed that every hour you watch TV reduces your life satisfaction by 5%. The good thing about not having a TV is that I can have more time for meaningful activities. For example, exercising and reading books. Also, without a TV, there is more free space for me to use creatively. I'm able to use extra space to stretch and practice the way of making tea. Number five, I don't own a bed. I used to have a bed, but it was difficult to disassemble, carry, and assemble each time I moved. That's why I'm using a folding mattress now. It's easy to move around when I clean my room, and I'm able to easily store it away. Sleeping on the floor is normal for Japanese people, so I quickly got used to it. Number six, I don't own a blanket. At the same time, I got rid of my bed. I stopped using blanket because it was bulky. Now I'm using a snow peak sleeping bag. To sleep instead. My sleeping bag acts as both a blanket and seats, so I don't need them. On top of that, the temperature can be easily adjusted, so it's comfortable in both summer and winter. Number seven, I don't own a dishwashing sponge. While washing dishes, I used to think that sponges and dish soap were sad. But since I started camping on my trip, I found that I don't need both sponges or dish soaps. Now I use something called biwako hukin instead of a sponge. Biwako hukin is a cloth made in Japan with the purpose of not using dish soap. It has excellent fiber absorbency and can absorb dirt and oil. And it is also good for the earth. Number eight, 
I don't own an iron. Ironing is useful for soothing out wrinkles, but it's a lot of work. That's why I buy clothes made of materials that don't require an iron. Uniqlo's iron-free clothes come in handy. Number nine, I don't own shampoo. In the past, it was natural for me to always use shampoo, but since my bamboo bike trip, I often washed my head with only water, and realized that I didn't need to use shampoo anymore. Since then, I've been living without using shampoo, and have only been using water. It is easy for me because my hair is short. It might be a little more difficult if your hair is longer. Number ten. I don't own a dresser. I used to fold my clothes in drawers, but it was a lot of work. After thinking about it long and hard, now I just put all my clothes on hangers. This will save you time instead of folding all your clothes. And it's nice to be able to see all my clothes in one organized space. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. And subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.